Hi guys, I'm Darrell Chapman, one of the software developers at the IOTA Foundation responsible for the IOTA Streams Framework. And today I'm going to give you a brief introduction to the Streams Framework and the Channels Protocol. So let's dive right in. IOTA Streams is a framework developed to supersede MAM or Mast Authenticated Messaging for cryptographically secure messaging between parties. The Streams framework is intended to provide a blueprint for development of secure messaging protocols over any number of transportation layers using a cryptographic sponge-based layer to encrypt, decrypt, sign, and manage key-based access to data streams. What this can enable is a future for data sharing and security between humans, between humans and machines, and possibly most importantly, between machines. By providing a secure means of data verification between machines, industries like smart city development, environmental monitoring, weather tracking, automated vehicles, industrial IoT and logistics, supply chain management, machine learning, artificial intelligence, swarm logic, and countless others are given a more robust tool set for tackling the privacy and security challenges plaguing the IoT industry today. The Channels Protocol is a secure messaging protocol implemented with this framework using the Tangle as a transportation layer. The Channels Protocol can be used to assist in structuring and navigating relevant data within the Tangle. A channel author will generate keys that will be shared among allowed subscribers. These subscribers will then be able to securely send and authenticate the contents of messages sent by other allowed subscribers. A collection of linked messages within a channel forms a branch, and the author can delineate access to each of these branches for different subsets of allowed subscribers. So let's take a look at how that works. First, a channel is created by an author. This is done by sending an announcement message to the Tangle. This message is identified by an application instance or a channel address and a message identifier, which allows other users to find, begin listening to, and to subscribe to a channel. A user wishing to subscribe to a channel can, once they've processed an announcement message, send a subscription message that's connected to it. Once they've provided the link information of this message to the author, the author can then process the subscription message, which in turn will store the credentials of the subscriber for key management purposes. An author can choose at any point to generate a new branch for a subset of subscribed participants to begin messaging in. This is done by sending a keyload message, which is a special message that contains key information for the participants who are intended to have access to this branch. Once a participant has been included into a branch, they can begin messaging. All messages sent within a branch can contain public and encrypted data that only other participants of the branch can access. Individual participants within a channel will keep tabs on these message states to ensure that everyone can keep their respective cryptographic and cipher states in sync as new messages come in. It's important to note, however, that an author, being the one who generates the keyload messages, is able to access each of the branches and all the subsequent messages inside them. Whenever a new user instance is initialized, whether that be an author or a subscriber, a set of key pairings is generated and stored within the instance. Among these keys is an ED25519 signature key pairing to be used for signing messages and a corresponding X25519 key pairing to be used for key exchanging. All messages sent by an author or a subscriber undergo a series of cryptographic mutations using sponge-based symmetric cryptography to ensure the validity of the source and provide security for the data provided by that source. This combined with the use of the tangle ensures that the reference data is immutable, verifiable, and protected. Well, that's all that we have for you for today. We hope that you'll tune in again for more updates from the Foundation. Until then! Thank you.